Hello and welcome to Sense Consulting's Maximo demonstration video series. Today we are going to be walking through how to convert a service request into a work order. Now in a previous video we created a service request that was reporting water underneath boiler 3. So our first step is to find that service request within Maximo. And to do that we will go up here to the go to menu. Click the hamburger icon, come all the way down to work orders and hover. From here we will stay within the menu and click on service requests. Now when you get to this screen you can use any of these titles to search for your service request. I already know my service request number so I will just simply put it into this service request number field. Then hit enter. And you can see we have returned our search with service request number 100087, water leaking under boiler 3, reported by Hunter. Simply click the service request number, and it will take you to the service request. So from here, we just need to verify very quickly that we have all the required fields filled been reported by someone there's a summary and a detail section also don't forget about your long description icon this has an orange arrow so that means that there's something within this so let's just give a double check see what we can do okay and so we can tell that this is simply a repeat of our details down here so we can just hit OK and now we're ready to create our work order so to do that we will come up to this menu bar where it says select action then you'll click this arrow and a drop down menu will appear and here you have a lot of different options but what the one we're looking for is create so we will go down to create and hover just leave our mouse over top of the create row and then staying within the menu we can create another service request an incident a problem a change release work order or communication and we are trying to create a work order so we will just click work order let the system think for a few seconds and so now we have a work order created to see the work order that was just created come down here to this row of tabs and click related records this will switch your panel view to a different tab and here you see a related work order so this means that service request 100087 is now related to work order 1232 if you want to see details click this arrow that says view details and they will drop down and you can see that this work order is described as water leaking under boiler 3 we have a long description that gives us our details it's related to asset BLR 3 which is boiler 3 and this work order is waiting approval so that means that it will not show up under any technician start centers or work order lists until it has been approved by a supervisor so that concludes our demonstration. Just a quick recap. We had our existing service request and we verified all the information was correct. We went up here to the Select Action menu, dropped down, found Create, hovered, and went to Work Order and simply gave that a click. And then to verify if your service request has a related record, simply click Related Records and you will see your related work orders it'll show with the details uh, closed if you want to see more simply click this view details arrow that concludes our demonstration thank you for watching and be sure to check back for more videos